everyone, it has been a hot minute since I went live, so hello there again and welcome to Easy Rock Plugged In. My name is DJ Shai and this show, Easy Rock Plugged In, it's basically a show where we put the spotlight on your favorite artists here on Easy Rock. We talk about them, their music, a little bit of chica here and there, and of course, a musical performance to boot. So it's going to be all fun today, perfect to lift your mood so it won't be such a manic Monday. <laughs> know how Mondays are usual, right? So we're going to change that a bit for you. And uh, yeah, don't forget to tag your friends, your family, I don't know, the fans of this artist if you want to as well. Tag them to join in on the conversation or at least drop by to say hello to Valentina Bloy. Hi, Valentina. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello DJ Shy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just, just come shy. We're, 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 we're tight. Shy. shy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice so good name. to finally see you. Thank you so much, but don't worry, there's nothing shy about me. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why I was named shy. I'm, I'm not shy at all. <laughs> but now, you know what, on that note, I was wondering why you were named Valentina. Are you born on February 14? Or is it just... I wasn't born. No, I actually was born in December, the 3rd of December. But oh, my mom... there you go. Yeah. She she decided to call me Valentina because it's like the name of love. So she was it like, is. I love your dad. So I'm going to choose Valentina as the Italian name. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> so it's that's why name. I'm called Valentina. So we, we both share a name that doesn't really mean what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah. Or at least what people would think it would mean rather. Like you're Valentina, but you're yes. born on Valentine's Day. I'm shy, but not really. I <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we have our, our viewers right now watching us in Easy Rock Manila Live. Uh, so as always, don't forget to say hello, guys, and we might be we might just be reading your your greeting in a bit. But right now, let us you know let's talk more about Valentina. Let's ask her some <laughs> questions. I have some personal questions I want to ask about her song and all that, but. Um, yeah, let's start off with the common question I asked most of the artists during the pandemic. How have you been during how the entire pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how have I been? I can say that I could have been better. I mean, mm -hmm. I was still very lucky to be in a safe place and everything. But I must admit, has been it has been like um, quite a challenging time for me, especially twenty twenty. Like everything in general started changing my job and then um currently i'm living so far away from home so it was a little bit hard to deal mm. like mentally with everything that was going on a little bit no gigs no shows for singers and stuff for artists yeah, yeah. but uh, but yeah the good thing about it is that i got to write so many songs and i had so much inspiration to write about so that was great <laughs> oh, mm. And speaking of songs, I'm sure we'll be listening to one of your songs later. So again, guys, if you want to listen to the live or watch the live performance actually of Valentina later on, then again, keep tuning in. Okay, so thank you for sharing to us uh, your story. I want to ask if you're vaccinated yet or not. I'm not sure if, if it's faster than us here in the Philippines. I don't know. So uh, <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately not yet. But uh -huh. I'm uh, going to do that in Italy because I plan to go back to Italy in December, so very soon. You have you have wonderful places to live in. Like there's Thailand. It's yeah, place. right? <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful urban jungle, but at the same time, you've got so many beaches very nearby. And then there's Italy. I mean, everything about Italy, I'm sure, is so wonderful. So, okay, first question about that. Where would you rather permanently live for your entire life? Here oh, in Bangkok, no, this or is such a <laughs> such a hard question. Really, I wouldn't know how to answer this. I'd say that the ideal situation would be to spend like some months in Italy and some months in Thailand, like maybe six months a year in wow, each place. Wow, that would be perfect. Or just three, 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 and then I just <laughs> travel around all the time. <laughs> that would be perfect. Oh yeah, for your gigs and stuff, right? Yeah, that would be perfect. Uh, uh, we have a saying here in the Philippines that basically means how I wish. Something like that. Uh, it's not directly translated, but it basically means how I wish I were that way. It means, it's, uh, we say, sana all. <laughs> sana all. I don't, I don't know why I want to teach you that, sana but yeah, all. sana all. We live both <laughs> Thank in you, I love learning. And both in Thailand as well. <laughs> Thank you, Saina O. Oh, now I Sina know a new all. expression. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You say that when you want when you want something, we say Sina I'm gonna o. write it down. Saina O. 
<laughs> Done. <laughs> okay, guys. So if you hear Valentina okay. in her Instagram story sometime, remember she got that from us here in the Philippines. Sana all. <laughs> yeah. Sana all. <laughs> so yeah, um, I know that you're a songer. Songer. Sorry, we say songer here as a joke. Songer. Sing, songwriter, right? You're, you're a yes. singer and a songwriter, but you're also a beauty queen. Like, oh my gosh. Well, for obvious reasons, you are stunning, obviously. No, you so, are. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> but yeah, we know that you're a beauty queen, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, you can play the guitar. What can't Valentina do? Dancing. I cannot dance. <laughs> No way. I mean, I saw you. I saw you. You know, um, sh- shake, shake your, shake your butt in TikTok a bit. Was it TikTok oh, or your Instagram? Yes. I think it was in your I Instagram. Think Instagram. I think I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah. So come on. I don't think that's true that you can't dance. Hmm, I promise you. I mean, I really enjoy dancing. I love dancing because it just makes me so happy and it just makes me shake the stress away. But I'm the least graceful girl human (laughs) in the entire universe. It's just very like that. (laughs) (laughs) But it was fun to watch you dance and just enjoy the music in the background. You know, when I was watching you. (laughs) Thank you. This girl looks like she'd be fun to dance within the club. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Doesn't oh. have to be beautiful, but lots of fun. That's yeah, guaranteed. exactly. You're fun, but okay. Good, good to know that you have your flaws because it's it's making people like me insecure. <laughs> like, no! okay, she can dance, she can sing, she could. She she's a beauty queen. What can she do? Okay, now I know she can't dance. Yes, she's not perfect <laughs> because you look like you are. I'm you know, you seem like you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> You can s- clearly see from my songs how imperfect and bleh I am sometimes. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm not just trying to suck up or anything, but sincerely, I am a fan. You you seem like such a wonderful person. Thank you. You seem like you have, you have everything uh-huh. going on. And yeah, I, I'll be real. I'm envious of you. You know what? Let's just end this interview no. because I'm envious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But um, you know what? Before we continue, we have a lot of comments already right now. Let me just read some of them for you. Um Ooh. Lucky Glenn is saying hello from Auckland, New Zealand. Hello to you. And hello hi also to Tun Rivera. She's a fan of Easy Rock, and I'm sure she's a fan of your songs as well. To hi. Lee Ashley, she says, uh, the name Valentina is so sweet. And I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and Doc Noel also hello to you and of course to Juan Miguel Gamotia hi to you as well so you've got a lot of fans here in the Philippines enjoying your Aww. music and um, enjoying this very nasty interview I'm doing I'm conducting right now because I'm just having so much fun <laughs> no. with you <laughs> I am I am I am just all over the place when you think about it okay okay going going back to going back to work and not just this fun conversation I'm having with you. So, as I, I mentioned about you being part of the um, uh, the Miss Universe Thailand 2018. And you were also part yeah. of The Voice Thailand, actually. So, like I said, you're just everywhere and you're <clears throat> wonderfully talented and beautiful. Now, I want to <laughs> ask you that uh, since you competed in the Miss Universe Thailand 2018 and won as one of the pageant's runner-ups, is pageantry something that's close to your heart? Would you pursue it? I would say it again. Okay, so it's not exactly like pageantry. I kind of like went into that competition unaware a little bit of how that world was. But what I hold close to my heart more than, you know, the idea of being a beauty queen is just making a difference, I guess, like with mm-hmm. music as well or. I think that if you can do something good or share a good message, that's that's something that makes me happy. So at the time, I just saw it as another platform that I could use to share my message of positivity, of staying real, staying true. And it was very fun, actually. Aww. It was so much fun. <laughs> I, could, I mean, I could only ever imagine how stressful pageantry could be, but I could also see how yeah. exciting and how happy the experience would be for people. And I'm sure that's how you felt yeah. at the time. It was very challenging for sure. It's like a, a lot of fun for some, because I didn't take it too seriously at the beginning, uh-huh. especially. <laughs> then maybe after a bit, I started stressing, I won't lie, a little bit about it, like at the finals and stuff. But yeah, overall, it was a great experience that I would do again for sure. 
you you would you would try to join pageantry again? No, I mean Maybe if a uh, stage. if <laughs> no no no, I mean in the if I would go back in time, oh, I would okay, still do okay. it. But in the future, in real life, um, it's a bit hard to see myself in that uh, place. Like you want to you want I mean, the crown already. <laughs> No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hanged. It's done. <laughs> okay, okay. My guitar feels much more comfortable. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So at least yeah. for the record, you would rather be a musician than a beauty queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yes, all right, definitely. good, good, good to know. But I'm sure either way, you would have succeeded in whichever path you you would have decided to choose. I would, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um we know that we know that you're Thai Italian, right? You mentioned that. Now, how does it feel that yes. you penetrated the Philippine airwaves and playlists through your 2020 singles like Love You Better and Really Want to Know You? Like what, you know, being able to get through the Filipinos. How does that feel? It feels like a little dream come true, really, huh? because when I share a song, I would love to like reach as many people as I can and to know that Filipino people are like one of the first country that actually really connected to my music makes it so special it makes me like oh they're so nice like thank you so much <laughs> so yeah I'll be forever grateful for that for sure we do we do it love doesn't, your music. yeah it, it didn't even happen I mean in my country like Italy but it happened in the Philippines first so that makes it very special in my heart <laughs> we have a knack for you know spotting the really talented artists here and there like, <laughs> we, we ourselves oh, sorry the country in general not everyone because <laughs> we ourselves the country in general is is quite musically inclined or uh, a lot of the Filipinos are talented so I think you know we can spot one when that's we see true one. though <laughs> it's true that's something I've noticed that like every Filipino people can sing amazingly like so well it's in your blood or something that's you can think better than me even it's like so great <clears throat> on, the, on that note I am not a Filipino in that case because I cannot I cannot okay. hold that note <laughs> to save my life <laughs> to, save my life. Hold note to save my life no <laughs> but thank you. But yes, in in general, I do believe I am going to raise our flag here and say that that uh, a lot of Filipinos truly are quite talented. There are really yeah. just some exceptions to the rule, and uh, those are in the form of me. <laughs> <laughs> some some people are great at singing. Some people are great at introducing the singers, and that is where I fall. That is the category where I yes, fall into. <laughs> you are very talented in that. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fun to speak with. My goodness. You know what? Next time I go back to Bangkok, which I will definitely, I'm going to go hunt you down there. <laughs> yes, You're, please. We should hang out. <laughs> I'm I'm going to message you on Instagram. And you know what? There's a guy yes. here. His name is Jerome. He says, Oh, can I join you guys when I go to Bangkok? Oh, Jerome, come with us if you want to. Jerome Munsalad, hello to you. Munsalad, Munsalud, yes, hello please. to you. <laughs> Okay, um, so there you guys. For the record, I'm gonna be meeting up with Valentina when I go to Thailand again. Maybe after this whole panini, I don't know when that is, but yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's safe to say that you did gain a lot of Filipino fans because of the Aww. music that you shared. You know, that's now, nice to which, hear. <laughs> speaking of which, um, I personally got curious. You know, like your songs, like "Love You Better" and "Really Want to Know You." Is it? Is it was that written for someone in particular, or just <laughs> just a figment of your imagination? No, okay, I'm yes, it was written for someone in particular. Uh -huh. I cannot lie. Another thing I cannot do is lying. Okay, <laughs> so um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, definitely, all of my songs come straight from my real life experiences. And that's more like it's more like a therapy than a job for me writing a song it's something i've been doing since forever and i would just write it out in the first place to make myself feel better and then it became kind of a job and i became an artist whatever that mm. means later you know so yeah. yeah it will always come from real life experiences and real people in my life i guess which made me think drunk sleeping in a taxi <laughs> Is it also based yeah. on a real experience? Just yes. to be in taxis, you know? Oh, do tell. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Obviously, that was like a metaphor that I not a metaphor. I mean, it's just something that really happened, and I use like that image as the title of the song. Okay. But the, the the whole idea behind the song is basically I wrote about a fear that I have of not being loved the same way when people see me at my worst, because mm -hmm. everyone tends to see me as such this positive person and smiley and like super happy all the time but actually mm -hmm. i do have my down moments and i can feel very bad sometimes and that makes me question like do the people i have in my life love me the same if they see me like that or do i have to keep that image the whole time and yeah it's just a little bit of a fear that i kind of wrote out uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful song. I've already listened to it, but we will be listening to you perform it again later on. But it's a great song, and it's interesting that you gave that that story because, um, you know, pe we all we all have the, the kind of fear <clears throat> some at some point in our lives. Yeah. Whether whether we want to admit it or not, especially for people who want to put out a strong facade, for example, you know, they want to. Yeah. They, we we all have that vulnerability. We all have that fear. Yeah, for sure. Wanted being appreciated and stuff like that. So I'm sure a lot of people would love that song, would appreciate the meaning behind that song. And I cannot wait for you to I play it so. for us again later on. But for now, yes. let me move on to more <laughs> questions. Oh, actually, before I move on to more questions, let's read some more comments right here. Hello to um, Jenna Lagumbay saying again hello. And Valentina is so pretty and lovely. I know, right? She is. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, <laughs> and Janet says she looks like a Filipina. Well, she's well, she's pretty, and you know how Filipinas are also pretty. So yeah, she looks like a so thank you. <laughs> That's a big compliment. I, I, have, I have a huge head. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yes, you look like pretty. You're so funny. Also, GP Gritten. So, I, I'm guessing this is Thai because her family name is. Pra, pra <gasps> hey Cooper. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, hello. it's called Cooper. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the noisy <gasps> dog is named Cooper. <gasps> Behave. <laughs> I'm working here. <laughs> and yeah, GP says hello, Valentina, beautiful girl. Randy Pedria says hi, shy. Uh, pa shout out to all binders, blessings, God bless, and all Bernard talks, Anthony and Randy. And I guess that's it for now. And Emerson Pedria says it's a yes for me <coughs> with regards to you being pretty like a Filipina. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. Now let me uh, let me move on to more questions. We mentioned also earlier that you know you've penetrated the Philippine airwaves and the playlist. Even even the playlist of Easy Rock, we do play your songs. Now, yay! You, uh, well, I I'm guessing that this is a yes already because the question here is: Do you wish to do it once again, being able to penetrate the market of the Philippines with drunk sleeping in taxis? And I guess, I guess, yeah, yes, yeah. I would love to. <laughs> I mean, like, it's something I can't really control. But if like Filipino people can <gasps> connect to it, I'd be more than happy about that. It's like, yeah, oh, I, I have a feeling, so especially yeah. when when we hear you play it later on for us. And um, that's such a very exclusive, I must say, straight from my bedroom. Ah, oh, I no love that. I love special that. effects. I'm sorry if I sang out of tune somehow, but it was very, really playing it in my bedroom where I wrote it. And you're the first place, I guess, I, I'm sharing this performance with. <laughs> well, um, Lee Ashley says, please let her sing a bit. Lee Ashley, we're going to get to that later on in a bit. Just hold your horses. We're going to let her sing for you <laughs> in a while. That song in particular, actually, Drunk Sleeping in Taxi. So just wait just wait for that <laughs> so you've also worked with filipino artists before right um i think you work with yes. alexa ilaka jada I did. there's jonah kyla casey moira de la torre moira de la torre yes yeah, so many ones actually they are <clears throat> talented as well they are wonderful performers so how is it working with them describe it to us because that will never happen to people like me so please <laughs> show us your experience of how it was working with them so for me it was such a big honor because they're all of them are like big superstars like in your country so for me it was a big honor i've had the two different projects so the first one was with alexa and um unfortunately i didn't get to see any of them in real life but we kind of like bonded a little bit on social media and instagram so yeah. the first project was like singing the song love you better together with alexa in another new version on mm -hmm. youtube and that was very exciting 
and the other one was actually a charity project single called Heal that I've done with um, all of the beautiful ladies that you've listed from the Philippines and also other ladies from Southeast Asia. So we collaborated in singing this single that was actually made to raise funds for people struggling with COVID as well. So that was such a good initiative. I was very happy to be part of. That's awesome. And I'm just so amazed that we were you guys were all able to do that over the internet. You know what I mean? Like Yes. I mean, I'm magic. sure I'm <laughs> sure it's never going to be the same. It's never going to be as as wonderful as it would be if it were in per, in person, but we are yeah. just so glad that the internet was able to make that happen to make us sure. happy with your performances. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're really happy. And yeah, your performances with them was so good, was so great. And we cannot wait for more collabs. All right. Now yeah. let's let's go back. I was I, I forgot my question earlier. There was a follow-up question I wanted to ask earlier with regards to um you mentioned that some of your songs are from real experiences. It was based on, you know, so it was about someone in particular maybe even i'm suddenly curious if that person knows that it was about them yes i'm ah. so like horribly don't keep anything to myself i just say it okay <laughs> yeah i wrote this thing for you <laughs> do you want to hear it wow <laughs> yes 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 it, it, yeah and and what was yes. what what did they say about that like oh you wrote a song about me oh i get it's all over the radio now <laughs> whoa <laughs> yeah i guess it's normal if you're a person in my life to have that whether as a family member as a friend as a lover as a, even a stranger whatever anybody could inspire me like uh, to write a song and i would just tell them <laughs> That so, is yeah. so honest for you that that is so awesome that they're that honest <laughs> I mean, I could imagine if I wrote a song about, let's say, uh, let, let, let's say, let's say I'm a great songwriter and singer. <laughs> let's assume that. And I wrote a song about my ex, for example. I don't think, I don't think I could face that person and let them know. By the way, I wrote a song about the way you broke my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, it's quite vulnerable, I must say. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was saying that it's just so cool that you're able to be honest about that with them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, thank you for your honesty as well to us right now. Now, um, I've got one more question with regards to what we would, you know, your music and all that. What should we be expecting from Valentina Ploy? Like, do you have any upcoming projects or new songs that you are working after Drunk Sleeping in Taxis? What keeps you busy basically nowadays? Nowadays, um, just really digesting the release of drunk sleeping in taxis and promoting it and everything that comes with it you know and obviously preparing for my next single as well because i'll have another single coming for you before the end of the year which i'm very excited about and i think the next year will be a pretty exciting one for me because i plan to make finally my full first full album and hopefully some collaborations that i cannot wait to share Oh, we can we too? <laughs> We're very excited for you. I mean, I'm sure as an artist, one of your one of your goals is to have a full blown album, and we cannot wait to hear that full blown album. We do hope to be part of your of your journey with the release of that oh. said album. So, I can't wait for 2022 for you. Awesome. <laughs> me too, and I'll come back here if you invite me. <laughs> we would definitely. I mean, I'm going to be. I'm going to be sending you a DM on Instagram. Excuse me, like, yes. hey, girl. <laughs> but yeah thank you thank you for sharing that and again we cannot wait for 2022 to come closer for your full album release all right so there you go guys again that's the one thing we could be waiting from valentina next year and that is a full-blown album but for now we're gonna get to her song in a bit because right now i want to play a game with you first <laughs> uh okay <laughs> awesome so this uh, this game is called song association game like if there's a game called word association where you think of a word after i say a word this time you have to think of a song or sing a song rather when i give you a okay. word it could be your song it could be any other song any okay. of your favorite artists whatever <clears throat> you want as long as you sing it for us because that's the one thing a lot of people want to hear from you is your stunning voice so let's go the first word oh, no. i have for okay. you <laughs> <sighs> you could do this you could do this <laughs> the first yes. word i have for you is it's kind of easy the first word is 
love. So give us a song with the word love in it. Okay. I don't want to love you more. I don't want to love you more. I just want to love you better. Better. That sounds like a familiar <laughs> song. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Actually, that's a really, a really good artist. <laughs> it's a really good artist. I just don't remember who the sh he or she is. <laughs> I awesome. also cannot remember. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Next for that was easy for you. Let's 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 try yeah. to uh, turn things up a notch with the word heart. Heart. I think of one. Okay, I know in my song. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you managed to calm all the soldiers around my heart. What you doing to me? Dun, dun, dun. And that's really want to know, yeah. <laughs> ah, awesome. Yes. There you go. Okay, that was another easy one for you, apparently. <laughs> so how about this dun, 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 dun. Um, I don't know if you have this in your song, but how about the word kiss? Oh no, okay, then not my song, but like, yeah. kiss me. Da, 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 we the same song. Da, 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 da. That one, mm -hmm. yes. I used yeah. to sing that with my kiss mom me. when I was younger. Yes, six kiss pence, me. Non the richer. Awesome. We also play that on Easy Rock, by the way, guys. Okay, next song, next word, rather. I have the word world. Okay, okay, okay. So, world. And if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? You'd come over and you'd stay the night. Would you it's love me sense. for the hell of it? <laughs> I love that song. It's, it's such a, nice such a song. beautiful song. Like if, it's, yes, it's a song that makes sex. me want to cry. Mm -hmm. Even when I don't yeah. have any reason to cry. Like, you know what? I want to have a good cry tonight. I'm going to listen to that song. <laughs> so good. Yeah, Julia Michaels is amazing. I love her. Such yes, a good songwriter. Is. Now, how about this next word? Alone. Do I even know? I'm thinking of I'm thinking of right. the song alone. <laughs> alone. I don't think I can answer this. What happens Five, if I can't? <laughs> four, three, no! two, one. It's all right. It's all right. I was thinking of oh um, no. Well, how do I get you alone? By by heart. Oh no! You again. have a nice voice. I mean, you no. have a nice. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm kidding. I have a decent one, but I cannot hold a note to say That means that you're amazing, probably. Oh, I could tell. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this next word is mm, end. E-N-D. End. Okay. Uh, I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> Linkin Park. Linkin Park, man. Yes. That was cool. And My favorite band ever. There you go. That's something we mind blowing because again we would we would stereotype and expect you to have favorite artists like uh, you know balladeers as well balladeers and stuff like that but it's so refreshing and surprising that you also love of course um lincoln park for example and i, I believe uh, according park. to the news yeah. uh, some little birdie told me that that was your audition song in the voice thailand Yes, that is, so, that is awesome. A very embarrassing audition, I must say. I, it's I so funny. You can you really, you can really see like my process of growing as a human and an artist <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> basically. Because I was so shy, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go on a, an audition on The Voice, and it's yeah. <laughs> that's that's really hard for me to believe, and it's funny that you I said your, you. your growth from being a human being as well. You're, you're so hilarious. You're so fun to talk with. I swear. But again, thank you. And that's awesome that that, thank you. Know that that was your audition song at The Voice. Okay, next word. Yes. We have here, better. I don't want to love you more. I don't want to <laughs> love you more. I just want to love you better. Awesome. Okay, I just take the chance to sing my song again. <laughs> of course, go take it. We we're actually giving it to you, <laughs> giving you the chance. So go on. It's Thank fine. you. How about the word um, life? I guess I see you in 
La ah 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 ah. That's also my song. See you in there life. There you go. There yes. you go. Ah, there's a comment here from Aldo Caputi. I may be butchering the language here, but I'm going to try my best. That's it's Italian. In, it's in okay. Italian, yeah. Ciao da Vigelli Vimando un bacio. Yeah, he said ciao, like basically hi from. From where? I didn't Bis get Kelly? that. Bis, Bis, Bis Kelly? Vimando. Yeah, I guess that's a place. And then he says, Vimando Mbasho, I send you guys a kiss. I'm butchering the language. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. And also, Chom Chan says, love her voice and songs. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. There you go. That's okay. so sweet. And GP said that they expected that the song would be in the end when when i gave the word end and i expected that you would sing in the end so that's how much yes, yes. Doing. awesome <laughs> okay we're not yet done how about the word oh no no k-n-o-w no okay i really want to know yeah oh i really want to know yeah i will never let you down never let you down <laughs> yes <laughs> There you go. My own song again. <laughs> of course. That's your chance. And why not? Your songs are awesome. And finally, the last Thank word you. is, hmm, I wonder what song you're going to sing here. What the word is, hmm, sleeping. Hmm. Oh, I really don't know what hmm, song Think of a song. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm drunk, sleeping in taxis, will you feel the same about me? <laughs> There you go. And that was just a quick tidbit of the song Sleep Drunk Sleeping in a Taxi. So we're going to get to her full performance in a bit. But there's one request here from Lee Ashley. She says, can you please sing a little bit of Satellite? Oh, my God. It's amazing how to. I forgot that the, <laughs> world, the word alone is in that song of mine. <laughs> Smart girl. I was like, oh, no. Okay. So the song is like, do you ever feel alone? Yeah. yeah, I'm a satellite. I was groaning out of space in a darkness moving far from the spotlight. <laughs> I forgot my own voice. song. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but you have such a beautiful voice. Seriously. Wow. Thank and you. yeah, Ashley, love that. Thank you so much, Ashley. And congratulations. You did very well. You're an A student here in our little game because you only missed one word and that was alone, which ironically was yeah. actually part of your song. But don't you worry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so thank you for playing with us, Valentina. And I guess now thank you. everyone who are watching, it is now time for us to listen to Valentina's song. So here we go. Let's check out The Drunk Sleeping in Taxis. Out at a party when I knew nobody Drank and I got too emotional It just takes a moment to start overthinking Till I lose control and get insecure Hey you, now I feel so hung over you mm -hmm. Wish that you could Just see the part of me that's good Feel the same about me when I 
preview of her room <laughs> straight from Valentina Floyd's bedroom that was drunk sleeping in taxis with her wonderful wonderful voice wonderful wonderful guitar playing that was <laughs> thank amazing you. thank you for sharing that to the thank world thank you so oh much goodness, I am fangirling <laughs> here <laughs> <laughs> I'm fun girling you too. Aww, you're you're really wonderful, and uh, of course, again, that was a wonderful song. And uh, like I thank said you. a million times, thank you for sharing it to the world. But please invite everyone to check out your song. Or like, where can we check it out? Where could we check you out as well? Please do tell. Yes, so you can hear the song "Drunk Sleeping in Texas" and all of my other singles on every streaming platform. And there's the music video on YouTube, What the Duck Music Channel. And also, you can follow every news about my next releases and stuff on Valentina Ploy's social media accounts and What the Duck Music. There you go, easy as that, guys. Actually, you could really just easily Google her. You know, so much stuff you can <laughs> see about her on Google. I want to ask you so many other stuff about everything going on with your life because you seem like <laughs> such an interesting human being, like you mentioned earlier. So Aww, I would want to do that, you. but I can't because we are running out of time. But thank you so much for spending this afternoon with us here, Valentina. Thank you so much for having me and giving me the opportunity to be here today of it's been course, such a great pleasure oh <laughs> thank you it was our pleasure actually but yeah of course everyone else who are watching still thank you so so much again for this chance to have valentina and myself be in your screens this afternoon i do hope that you have a really really fantastic monday and actually the rest of the week but also don't forget that if you want to have an even better time online don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts it's uh at Easy Rock Manila on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. They're all the same. And of course, that one is mine. It's at DJ Shy963. You can follow me also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. They're all the same. Just key in at DJ Shy963. And I guess that is it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much once again, Valentina. That is it for now. And I hope to see you again soon. I hope to hang out with you again soon. And I cannot me wait too. for the full album of all your <laughs> songs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so Thanks. much again. It's been All so right. nice talking to you. Yeah, so that's it for now, guys. We'll see you again on the next episode of Easy Rock Plugged In. Love you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>